Hey, Matt. All right, folks. Each year, Meals on Wheels delivers over 140,000 meals to people right here in the Duke City. And here with me to talk about how you can help is Samantha Blaukamp, who is the executive director. Samantha, thank you for joining us Good this morning. morning. Thank you. I know this is a very busy time of year for you, so we appreciate you taking the time this morning oh, to talk about this. Thank you for letting us talk about Absolutely. this great organization. Absolutely. Well, so this is interesting. I want to share some numbers here. Meals on Wheels in 1972. Uh, the meals were $1.30 per day for five hot meals. Uh, today, it's six dollars and thirty cents. So, what does that include? That includes the entree, the mm -hmm. starch, the vegetable, a freshly made salad. A freshly made dessert, uh, a bread and butter, mm -hmm. and juice or milk, whichever the client would like to have. But because we don't receive any federal or state funding, mm -hmm. we can prepare a whole variety of diets. So if you're a diabetic, mm -hmm. or if you're on kidney dialysis or have kidney issues, we can prepare renal diets, mm -hmm. pureed diets, vegetarian, gluten free. Uh, Which, mechanical you know, soft. And I think that's really important because, you know, a lot of people, they, they end up finding financial hardship because of medical situations. Right. You know, if they've got a medical condition, say that their diet, you know, and it, it just depletes their, their income, yes. they will need that assistance. So that's great that you can cater to that and honor that. We so do. You, you said you don't receive any federal or state funding. How do you guys do it? Well, our clients do pay for their meals, mm -hmm. but then we also have, out of the 500 every day that we serve, mm -hmm. 120 of those clients are getting a meal at no cost. These are people that are living in abject poverty but are very ill and are homebound and isolated. And so we have fundraisers and we write grants and we, of course, take donations. Mm -hmm. um, the people that pay for their meals never subsidize the people that get the free meals. So we constantly have a huge waiting list. Right now I have 60 people waiting. Wow. Um, yeah, and they've been waiting a long time. So yeah. we're really pulling in some some uh, big fundraisers and donations to help get those people off that waiting list because they're very ill. Yeah. And you know, over 50% of the people we see every day, mm -hmm. we're the only person they see every day. Right, Yeah. right. Well, so um, for, for those that may not be able to afford the 630, do you have a, a low income program that can assist them? This is the free that program is, I'm talking about. Program. Yeah, okay. it's the low income program okay. and it's only subsidized through grants and donations and okay. fundraisers. Okay, so, so that yeah. takes care of the folks that Yeah, and you had mentioned food stamps earlier. and. Yeah. Uh, we have clients whose food stamps were slashed down to $17 a month. Yeah. So if you can imagine earning less than $700 a month, the average income of those low-income clients is $714 yeah. a month. And so I, I, just, I, I can't imagine dealing with unbelievable. that. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. Well, so um, a lot of folks also out there, they're, they're struggling, and maybe their only family is a, a four-legged friend. Mm -hmm. So they have a pet that they, that, you know, they we need to do. get some food. And you guys help for that, too. We do. We have a wonderful pet program. It's for the folks that we serve that are getting the free meals that live in poverty. Mm -hmm. We discovered they were uh, sharing their food with their pets because they didn't right. have enough money or food to go around. Right. So through a grant we were able to start a pet program and we provide uh, food to them every month. Um, people are so generous in this community. We get pet toys mm -hmm. and things like that and so included in their delicious food that's provided to us by Enchantment Pet Resort and Spa. It's all organic. Oh, wow. It's all natural. Um, every month they get that food and they get treats and they get mm -hmm. toys and it's it's really amazing and it makes a huge difference. And last year we had enough funding we were able to get the animals neutered, yeah. um, spayed, chipped, checked by vets. Mm -hmm. It's a really fabulous program. That is fantastic. Well, uh, Samantha, I know a lot of people probably want to help. They want to get involved. Just very quickly, how can they get involved and help or make donations? It's very easy. They can call me at 823-8065. They can go to our website, mow-nm.org, and they can find all kinds of information. And I have to tell you, I'm just so proud to be in a community where every day 400 volunteers use their That's own amazing. cars, their own gas. They check on our clients. They provide um, safety net for them. They have mm -hmm. a big shoulder they lean on. Yeah, so absolutely. It's Samantha, an amazing thank you. organization. Thank volunteers, you. Volunteers, thank you. And of course, uh, we have a link to, uh, to Meals on Wheels on our website, just visitcost.com, and click on the CASA blog. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, well, I hope that you are having a great Tuesday, Christmas Eve coming up here. We are going to hear from a local airman who is home for the holidays. An incredibly special story, folks. You want to stick around for this. Hi, this is Lance Corporal Bassett from MWSS 273 Beaufort. I just wanted to say hi to everyone in New Mexico, especially my family, uh, Seth, my dad, Alfonso and Tammy, Jocelyn and Mateo, and... Have a great happy holiday.